Liam, it's been a long camp, but fight week's here. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm excited. Um, you know, I just really want to get... I, I don't want it to be over with, but I just want, I want fight night to be here now and, you know, um, put everything we've done into practice and, you know, come out, come out the other end with our win. There's been a lot of talk around this fight. There's a lot of press interest. Are you, are you sort of almost pleased that's nearly over and it's fight time? Yeah, it, um, you know, it hasn't really... It hasn't really bothered me too much. It's just he kept getting pulled here, there, and everywhere for different interviews and phone interviews, and you know sometimes you could do without that. You're tired after training, and but all the hard training's done now. So you know we just just concentrating on fight night. It's exciting times though, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, you heard what they were talking about in the press conference, these big fights and and everything else. So you just gotta just gotta keep focus and not get you know sidetracked by these by these kind of things. Well, there's talk of, you know, the winner fighting Canelo, possibly, or Cotto. That's up the ante on this fight, hasn't it? I mean, it's an also now for an interim world title. Yeah, of course. Um, as you say, it's the title being added. And then you've got the talk of Canelo or Cotto. And um, it's, it's unreal, to be honest. It's, um, it's very exciting times. <clears throat> but I know I keep saying over and over, but I can't get carried away with it. I just need to focus on the task ahead and make sure I get the job done Saturday night. This is the biggest fight of your career to date and uh, obviously it's a huge, huge occasion for you. How are you dealing with the pressure? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, to be honest, it's the same as any other fight. Uh, obviously, there's slightly more added pressure because I'm, you know, I'm up against there. I've got a tough fight. I've got a very tough fight. Um, you've got, you know, it's, it's now been added for the uh, interim WBO title. There's talks of these names again, and um, obviously there's there's so much on the line. But you know we, we can't do any more. We've done we've done all the training, we've done all the sparring. You know we've covered we've covered every base. So uh, whatever the outcome may be Saturday night, I know I'm not going to look back and think I could have done any more. It's all been done. You've been out to the states to prepare. Can you tell me something of that? Yeah, uh, it, it was very good. Went on a lot of different gyms. Mayweather, Salas, uh, we went to the top ranked gym. So um, it was all great experience. We, we sparred in these gyms as well. So, uh, yeah, you know, the, the atmosphere was very, uh, you could say, intimidating for a lot of people. I was fine, you know, because I'm not that, not that type of person to really get overawed. But um, it, it could have been intimidating for a lot of people, you know, the, all the ringside shouting and, you know, if, all these, all these different nationalities, and you, know, you can't even understand what they're saying, but they're shouting and they've done something very nice. Um, you know, but it was, it was all good. Um, plenty of sparring, we were sparring every other day. We were, um, you know, doing the mountain runs. We were just mainly just to get away from home two weeks. Me, Gary, and uh, one of my training partners, Alex Hughes. So we had a great, great time while we were there. We had a lot of fun. So you know, it could have only benefited me and kept me fresh, so I'm happy. Has it given you a taste of what life might be like if you win this fight? Yeah, to a certain extent. Um, I, I, don't think I'd ever, I don't think I'd ever move to America, but I'd, I'd continue to go, keep going back for a couple of weeks at a time, uh, you know, during my own camps back home, which, um, which would be good, you know, to keep up. Uh, every, every fight's the same to me, and I, I prepare you know, to my best of potential every time and I work very hard, so it all, it all stays the same for me. Now, it was mentioned in the press conference that one of the carrots being dangled is a potential fight with uh, Cotto. I believe he's your hero. Yeah, I've always, um, I've always loved watching Cotto. I've always looked up to him, um, you know, as, as I was a youngster. I've always loved him, so um, I've got a tattoo of him on my back as well. You know, I really, I really kind of look up to him, so... but. As I said in the press conference, that that wouldn't stop me from wanting to share the ring with him and um, you know and give him a good beat in. So um, yeah, exciting times. Are you allowing yourself a little daydream that that uh, that scenario might just happen? You could be sharing the ring with Cotto. Yeah, just so only um, only a couple of split seconds, and then I start reminding myself that I still got still got my work to do. So you know, Liam Smith is my main. I, I got to beat Liam Smith Saturday night. The bookies seem to have it as a, a pick and fight. It's it's even money. 
Are you pleased to be in that position? Are you are you surprised that you're not the underdog? Yeah, uh, you know it's good. It's good that everybody's seen it. You know, a pretty even fight. But being the underdog don't bother me either because I've I've been in I've been in the away corner before and um, to be honest, it's probably made me perform even better because I know people you know maybe not want me to lose, but I'm kind of expected to lose and that really gives me that fire on my belly to perform and. Um, you know, it makes me a dangerous guy. Last question. It's a massive night for you. Are you going to do it? 100%. Definitely coming home with a win. Bringing our belt back to Wales.